Hello and welcome to Bell Curve Gaming and today I'm bringing you a Zapcat deck mostly because I like saying the word Zapcat. Seriously, it's seriously satisfying. Try saying it yourself, Zapcat. And this was a deck idea that was given to me by Kangarooster and Monorail G. So big shout out to them. But I am getting a little bit worried about, you know, the number of Cataday decks I'm starting to bring you guys. I mean, this is my fourth cat day deck and what does that say about me does that does that mean i'm starting to become some crazy cat man and like am i gonna just get some kind of urge to go and buy myself a heap of cats and have a heap of cats running around my house and yeah I, i'm getting a little bit worried i mean there's way too much cat day deck well can you have too many cat day decks i don't know Anyway, let's get explaining how this deck works. This is uh, built around Zapdos and Esper again. So Esper's being our bench sniping with the Echinesis. Does 20 damage to one of our opponent's bench Pokemon for each damage counter on that Pokemon. And we can use that for free because of the Persian. And Persian's actually good in this deck because it has free retreat, which has great synergy with the Zapdos if you don't have a bored Jirachi out there to be able to use. So that's kind of nice little synergy in there as well. And of course, Zapdos is our speedy attacker with Thunderous Assault. 10 damage, but if it comes from uh, the bench into the active, does an extra 70 for 80 total damage. You know, and that we can get some E powers to it to power it up even further as well. But you've got to remember, if Reshazards are running around, that's just 80 plus a Shrine, which is 90, which is enough to then get the Esper into play. So it's great for those big, hefty Pokemon. And it's also super speedy and super consistent to be able to knock out one prize card attackers as long as they're not uh, too beefy to give us a chance against Cad Day's biggest weakness which is one prize card deck. So, you know, that's something that's really nice in here. Something that you won't see in the matches that I'm featuring today is Thunder Mountain. Thunder Mountain's come into it because the only match I really stalled on was when I couldn't get enough um, lightning energies. I could only find one despite getting myself halfway through the deck and that was against a... Lost March build, um, and they were just able to get, you know, get the prize card race in their favour, despite my, you know, myself being speedy enough to get the first KO. So that was a little bit disappointing, um, but the Thunder Mountain should hopefully give us that extra lightning energy, essentially into play, um, or another out to that. Other than that, I've never really had any issues getting enough lightning energy, so I didn't want more lightning energies, but I just swapped out a shrine for an extra Thunder Mountain, and we do like that indeed. So this is a nice speedy build, and let's get started. Hello, Shallow Ruff, and welcome. Yet another one that wants me to go first. This is like... Oh, this is a good starting hand. Um, this is like the third match in four that I've lost the coin flip, and they're like, yeah, you go first, you go first. You have it. Nespel, go and get Zappy. Go and get Jirachi with the other one. I like in the starting hand. Yep, Jirachi. We've got our cats here. That's fine. Oh, we do need a cat down. Oh, we got a cat down. That's fine. That's fine. We're good. Go and get Lily. <sighs> Why won't you Persians? <laughs> you could be Persians after this. Uh, well, hold there. Well, hold there. I don't even have an NG yet. Interesting. So next turn we might burn the E powers. I don't really want to burn E powers, it's a waste of E power, but we might have to just to thin a little bit. Chuck Esper down, Jirachi down. I'm assuming this will be Rash's art. That's what we can assume, I think. Esper will poke comms. What are you going to bring down? Yep, it's Rush's up. If you don't ask that shrine, that gets the 10 on, then 80 for later. That's the plan anyway. Do you want to be huge here? Is if I've found my way into a um, rope. That'd be amazing. Uh, we'll go you down, we'll go you down, we'll burn the E powers because I do need a way out of the active here. And Cynthia. Oh, wow, that is huge. 
absolutely huge. Rope. Uh, we'll just go Zaffy at the moment. Won't risk anything. Uh, do I want another cat down just in case? I think I do. But I think I don't at the same time. <laughs> We'll let that decision just wait. Thunderous Assault. That's a lot of damage you get on that Reshazard turn 1. Or oh, turn 2, technically. 160 damage, you get a Welder. You'll be able to get the KO straight back on Zappy. And it's really depending, like, if I get another Rope, it'll be amazing here. Because that'll be an Esper. Rope or Guzma, actually. Rope or Guzma will play here with Jirachi's pull. We'll get Arcanine up. So we're really after Rope or Guzma. You've got Arcanine ready to romp. Alright, Rope or Guzma. Although I'm just looking at it, 160, that'll be 170, it's 100. I'm an E power away as well. But I'll need to get you out of the active, so <laughs> that's a thing. Um, so what we're doing first, I think, is just seeing what we've got to play with. No rope on no Guzma. Oh, that's painful. No way out of the active unless I want to take Liza switch, which is not what I want to do. Do want an Ultra Ball? Do you want to stretch it back? A Zappy? Leave the Ultra Balls for later, for thinning. We've got Cynthia. Alright. That's what we're going to do. So we're only out really now. We'll go on Nest Ball, we'll go and get Zappy down. Get a Lightning NG to my Zappy. Do you want an Ultra Ball? I do want my cat as a threat. So this is what we're going to do. Going to go and get Persian. I mean, at the end of the day, we could still manage to pull in the rope, which is what we do. So we now go Esper. Hang on a sec. Have we used your ability? We have. We'll chuck a board to you. Or rope. I'm assuming there will be Arcanine that will be coming up. Which will be fine. This is working quite well. So Jirachi, you go up. And we've got one of the Reshazards out of here. So what do we want out of this as a priority? Uh, we've got Rope, we've got Guzman, probably a Cynthia. Yeah, Cynthia. All right, we'll retreat out to Esper and let Esper do its thing. Echinesis, smack out you. It's one Reshazard off the board. And hopefully, if you don't play any other basics, we can rope the other Reshazard back in. We could also Guzma it back in. I'm feeling the Guzma a little bit more, to be honest. To be honest. Just to bring that Reshazard into the active. And smack into it again. I mean, I'm thinking your biggest threat is actually the Persian here at the moment. <laughs> It's probably who you've got to take out, because I haven't got another Persian ready to roll. That might be easier said than done. Cynthia? So my next play is go pull that Reshazard in the active really what we're looking at. Go Guzma that Reshazard in the active, so after a double Jirachi pull, which is beautiful. And 
Not worried about Arcanine. Worried about Reshazard. Alright, so what are we doing here? We pull first. Stellar Wish. Uh, stretcher. I think we do get that Stretcher now. We'll retreat out to the Jirachi. Stellar Wish. E power is not really what we're after. Lily's not really. Uh, we'll grab B power. Why not? That's fun. All right. So we're gonna stretch it here. The Esper back. I just don't want to. I'm worried about let loose. I'd be shocked if this wasn't running let loose to try and minimize my hand, and that's just something I'm a little bit worried about. So because of that, we're going to play a few more cards than I otherwise would. So we'll E-Power down. Uh, we'll kind of want to leave the Escape Rope in hand. We'll Guzma this guy uh, into the Zappy. Don't make any mistakes there. And for the moment... Do I energy attach acting like I'm looking at another option with the um, Tapu Koko, even though I don't have it in deck. But he doesn't know that I don't have Tapu Koko GX in deck. So I think that's how we play it. Puts a pretty big threat on the Reshazard as well. So he'd have to know that right now he has to get that Reshazard healed. So what's this green's gonna go and pull? Janine and Viridian Forest. Janine in this. What's Janine about in this? You have to be able to take out the threat, which is Persian. But taking out the threat also allows Zappy to continue smacking him. Ouch! Didn't take out the threat. Well, that's another Reshazard gone. <laughs> and that is game right there. Escape rope. Tell me who you want at the front. While we put this Reshazard back behind. <laughs> this is cruel. It's like, give you the choice of who you want at the front, knowing that I'm just KOing the Reshazard. <laughs> And Echinesis, smack you out. Zap Cat for the win. Zap Cat for the win. Right there. <laughs> that was awesome. Good game. Good game. Hello, Tagashi, and welcome. Have I gone second with this deck yet? I don't think I have, because every time I lose the coin flip. I, uh, <laughs> they keep giving me the first turn, which is like weird. I never have that happen. Never have it happen unless you're playing a deck where it's like, you don't mind going second necessarily with this particular deck. It's okay to go second. Hitmon family. Uh, we want to be more zappy than anything else. Jirachis can be a liability as well. Having too many Pokemon down can be a lot. Yeah. Look, I think what we have to do is we do have to get one Jirachi up. That's a given. And we're going to escape rope our way into him. These rescue stretches could be really important. Hmm. Here's the question, right? These rescue stretches could be important. I need four zappies. You could get me a nest ball and then that would be better. We're going to burn one rescue stretcher. We've got a second rescue stretcher. 
Go and get a zappy. Because then we maximize the lily pole. And I like that. I like that a lot more. So maximize the lily pole. Possibly did have the nest ball sitting there, but oh well. It is what it is. Uh, we don't want to go too zappy heavy straight away. Chuck that down. Do you want to nest ball anything else? We've got to be careful how much we're putting down in the early game with this particular matchup. Stella Wish, we'll go and get ourselves. Uh, EPs could be really important in this game as well. But so is that. I've got an EP already, so we'll go with the escape board because that's going to be important. We're also going to chip the Jirachi in range. But it is what it is. We'll leave it at that. I mean, technically, you've got to be able to get out of the active as well. I'm assuming you're running lots of switches to do that. Although, you're going to go spinning attack. The longer you take to get into your combo, the better I am. The better off I am. Which is really where this would have been better off going second. But you do get that Jirachi in range, which is nasty. But I was expecting Jirachi to be within range anyway, as long as it doesn't get KO'd, which is going to get KO'd. Oh no, you didn't get the antsy. Oh, you got another nest ball. Yeah, you're going to get KO'd. <laughs> oh well, here's what it is. Here's what it is. Possibly shouldn't have chucked the skateboard too into after this. What do I want to target as my number one threat? Possibly Deancey, because that would be the hardest for you to get back out of the active, isn't it? Yeah, I'm feeling like Deancey is the target. I feel like I don't want to play anything else down just at the moment. Mmm, but I want to get another Zappy out. We've got another Zappy out. We can't get the Deancey, that's a big issue. Not in one shot, at least. But we can certainly hit into him and ask some questions about it. We we'll use the EP now. And Thunder is up. Tell we'll play it. Because it means I don't even have to retreat, technically. To get the KO on the Deancey here. Which is huge for me. Alright, so that's real good. That is real good. Didn't even have to use anything. So I think we're just Lily up here. I don't want to put too much down. That is a huge key in this, is I do not want much down on the field. At all. So, Thunder is up. It sucks that I've got my cat here. That does suck, but anyway, we got the first, well, our first prize card. It's back even. Alright, double tack Coco down. Gonna hit and run to a Coco. What do I want to target here? Good, we got the Persian. Um, I'm feeling like we target him on top and just ask questions. I can't get to a hit on Lee or anything like that, but I think we just target the hit on top for the moment. So we'll Guzma, this guy, bring up Zappy. And just EP. Make sure we're getting the KO. Thunderous Assault. Like this guy out. Go 
Got another Guzma. I only can target down my Zappy, which is unfortunate. We'll go ham, like, filling up the board after the hit on top goes off. We'll fill up the board well and truly. Jimmy, you'll whack out the Zapdos, yeah. Yep, yeah, that's what I would have done. So now we've got to make a decision about who we want to target. I feel like we just take Liza switch for this play. Because we're not going to get a KO. And Hitmon Lee's there for us to whack out with an Esper or something later. So we'll take Liza switch to the Persian. We'll retreat out. And just smack in with the Zapdos. And basically say, yep, you can put the Hitmon top down now. And use your finishing combo. Gonna Guzma up. Alright. To make sure you get the KO on the Persian. That's unfortunate. That is what it is. We now start going a little bit more ham on what we're doing. So we nest ball. We'll go and get ourselves Jirachi down. Which is fine. Ultra Ball here. Go and get ourselves another cat. Although, do we want the cat? Possibly don't want the cat. We do want ourselves another zappy, I reckon. Don't worry about the cats. Do we want a Cynthia here or Guzma and target someone? I think we Guzma and hope we can get back out of it. Guzma and hope we can get back out of it. Sell a wish. Got the board, good. Alright, board to you. Or we'll retreat out. Get the KO here. Thunder assault, smack you out. And go back even on the prize cards. Got a stretcher to be able to pull a zappy back. Might need to pull a couple of zappies back. Just so we've got the attackers. The Guzma time, like the timing of your Guzma was important. Just to be able to take out the Persian. Interesting that you're going to Mew. What do you do? Okay. Very interesting. We'll run a switch back to Jirachi. We'll Stella Wish here. Go and get a Nest Ball, I reckon. Get another Zappy down. I don't know whether my other Zappy's in deck. How many attackers have I got left? Ah, uh, we'll, we'll do it this way. Shuffle three. Got a Meowth back, why not? Did I have a Zappy left? Yes, I did. Need to actually check that just so I know. We'll retreat out. And take out the Mew. 
Now I know Zapdos goes down here. But I'm back within two. And EP was absolute clutch there. Absolutely clutch. So I've just got to work out where am I getting the remaining prize cards. Stretch it back. Possibly the Hitmonlee. Yep. So I can see where I'm getting one of these prize cards. I'm seeing the DCEs go on the Tapu Koko. Getting Mew back. Kind of flying flip. That's annoying. To say the least. Do have. I reckon we'll whack it onto. Doesn't really matter. Whack the EP down. I want that Mew to come back down. Do want you to play that Mew back down. Although we've got an EP for the next turn. The only thing we don't have is a Guzma to go and get whatever we want back. Which is kind of what we want. Uh, we'll chuck another Sappy down. Doesn't really matter at this stage. We'll Stella Wish. We do have a Rope. Which doesn't get whatever we want down. Played one AP already, so we're fine with that. We'll retreat out to the Zappy. And smack you out. One prize card away now. And this will actually be a very good example about, like, Cataday is bad against like damage spread and one prize card Pokemon. So it's actually like really bad against this particular matchup. But it's a good example because this is probably going to be my follow up video to the Hitmon family deck. It's a really good example of um, I guess why I don't rate this deck. Like, my deck shouldn't be great against this deck. And yet, it did everything that it needed to. Oh, we could even Guzma. <laughs> we'll EP. We'll Guzma up the mute. I mean, yeah, it was a Zapdos build. It wasn't a Cataday build that got the win. But it's still my point of you can play around this deck really easily. You've just got to not fill up your bench early because you're only really going to get one hit on top attack off with that deck. And then just work it out from there, really. So anyway, good game, good game. Hello, Pilola la la la. Welcome. <laughs> Jirachi, you're down. Zapdos, you're down. Ah, oh, we have a lightning energy, that's good. Seven game winning streak ruined because I got 30 cards into my deck and couldn't get a lightning energy. RNG, that's how it works. Draw a card. Well, I lied, we got one lightning energy. Alright, we'll go and get ourselves Meowth started. Uh, do we have Persians? Should check that line, yep. Got one S, two Espers, we got two more Zappies. Alright, that's fun. We're good with that. And uh, after that, we'll still wish. Go and get what we want to prioritise. Definitely not Shrine. We do want Escape Ropes, maybe. No, I've got an escape rope. We'll go and get an EP. Don't like EP, we don't need either. We might go and get another rope for the moment. That sounds fine. Don't like, like I don't like let loose, so we'll just do that. Just uh, get that down. You'll see what we're playing straight away, but that's fine. That's fine. Although I should have actually held that just in case it was Dugong. I didn't check the typing at the start of the game. If this is Dugong, that was a really bad... No, this was Zoro Rock. I did see the um, Lycanrocks. 
It could be Jugong. It could be Jugong. Probably should have held on to that when I think about it. That's probably a misplay on my part. Gonna feel blimey. Alright, we got the rope to get out of it anyway. We'll whack another shrine out there, it's fine. Alright. We'll still wish. Go and get ourselves another board. <laughs> so we won't use the rope here. We'll just go aboard. If I have rope, you'll just go into that Zerua, so I don't really want to do that at this stage. Um, I'm going to wait to see whether you play a stadium after this. Don't want to waste lightning energies. But I don't want to draw into too many of them. We'll just do this. Trade out the Zappy. This is my only attacker at the moment, which is super bad. This is how we're going to play it. I'm doing this to make it look like I might have... Ah, oh, that didn't help either. Um, doing this to make it look like I might also be playing around with something that could... Like Tapu Koko GX. English for me at the moment is a, is a struggle. This is alright. Hoping this is not Jugong. And there's your Persian. Which means you should easily have the KO here. If you put all the pieces together. So what have you got to partner this with? Tapu Lele. Plenty of GX Pokemon on the board at least. You should be able to fill up the bench, get a DCE. In fact, you will be able to. So if you zap those down, I need to find myself another attacker, which is super bad here. Although I've got the stretcher to go and get Zappy back, and I think I might do that just for the moment. Getting Mew to stop bench damage, that's smart. Which means I'm probably going to have to target down that Mew at some stage. Which is okay, because that's the second prize card. And I'm on the odd trade at the moment, so we'll goose that Mew up at some point. Exactly when, I'm not sure, but we'll work on that. We'll work on that for the future. So now you got the Persians. Didn't you activate Persians ability? Alright, well that's fine. Uh, do you want to... We'll go an EP. I think we'll Cynthia because I do need to find my way out of this Zapdos now. Good, we've got Escape Rope for it. So we'll Escape Rope. Who do you want to send to the active? Persian. Okay, that's fine. Stella Wish. Uh, we want Guzmas for later, I reckon. Yeah. We want the Guzma after this, so that's fun. Just because I want to target down that Mew. Targeting down that Mew is super important to me. I could get... a lot of damage on here. But is it pointless damage? Stuff it. We'll just... we'll burn it. I'm fine with that. Thunderous Assault. Because if you don't ask this shrine soon and make that a priority, that gets very close to the Persian. Very close to that Persian. Are you going to Acer roll him up? It's unfortunate. Got about the healing shenanigans. That's something I probably should add to this is Mr. Mime. Just to stop Acerola shenanigans. Still looking for that DCE. Do you want to target down that Mew? If you miss on DCE, well then that Mew's gone. We're getting rid of that Mew right away.
He did get rid of that shrine, which is unfortunate. Ah. Now you got sky pillars as well. You're all about anti-bench, aren't you? Very much about anti-bench. Gives me up. Well, there's one more taken care of. Uh, let's go and pull in Zappy. Trade out. Get another prize card. Problem is, I've only got one more stadium left. So when I ask this, it's going to be important. And I've got to be able to find my way into that shrine as well, which is no guarantee. That protection of bench damage becomes a real issue. And you can use Persian's effects again here. Can double catwalk. Oh no, you can't catwalk yet. Oh yeah, I've got to take out a GX Pokemon for you to catwalk. That's right. Oh, and you've got the stadium counter. You are controlling the stadium really well. And you've got the counter to this deck. Urgh. This is going to be hard to overcome. Real hard to overcome. I think we just got to keep picking off this back line. Rather than focus on GX Pokemon. Uh, I reckon we pick off Marshadow to be honest. Although, no, that could be a pick off later. That could be a pick off for later. So we'll go Jirachi in. We'll go Lightning and GTU. We'll Stellar Wish here. Go and get ourselves. Oh, we could go and get the shrine, but I don't really want to play the shrine just yet. Could go and get ourselves Stretcher. don't want to play the shrine yet. That's like two turns away. Have we got draw off? Uh, we got Cynthia already. Stretcher. We'll go and get Stretcher. For the moment. We'll Guzma this guy up. Into Zappy. And we'll thunder us up. Take Rockruff down. Get another prize card. Got another Zappy. We do need to find our way into that shrine at some point. The idea is this is hopefully another prize card. If I can just take out one of these GX Pokemon. That's all we're really wanting. Just take out one of these GX Pokemon at some stage. Hmm. Giving up on the Alolan Mark. You could have switched off my Stellar Wish. If you got into that instead of chucking a second Persian down. That's interesting. Very interesting. I don't like these two sitting here. Alright, so you've got that out. We go Jirachi back in. So we go Zappy down. We go a second Zappy down. That's fine gonna do here is we can just whack into the Zoroark and leave that for later I think we need to Cynthia first 
We do need more lightning energies. As part of our play, we need that Guzma if I could. Don't want a shrine yet. We don't want a shrine yet. Got the escape rope if we still want to. We don't have another lightning energy, which is really bad. Got the Guzma, which is like the perfect play. <laughs> if... Hmm. This could work. We'll pull on that Guzma. If you don't have a Sorolla here, this could work. We'll just attack in with Zappy. Thunderous Assault. I am expecting nearly a Acerola coming. More than anything else. It's going to trade. Which makes me think I need a Mime in this deck. The big downside, although then I'm just left with a Guzma to get rid of that guy. No, he'll get rid of himself if I play the Shrine the next one. Hmm. But I don't have any other choice because I don't have an attacker here. Other than Esper. <laughs> On the next turn. Because I don't have any lightning energy. Which just means I've got to hope that he puts a baby down at some stage that we can go after. Gonna goose me. Get rid of that Jirachi. Yep. Get rid of that consistency card of mine, which was doing work, and I mean a lot of work. Does mean that Zorak goes down here, but it does allow him to get two, well four cards of whatever he wants, with the double catwalk. Ideally I would have rather been able to go bang, then bang, but I don't think I can afford to. I can't give up the opportunity to get rid of the Zorak right here now. I don't think I can afford to give that opportunity up. You do leave me with Zapdos on the field. you I need to be able to guarantee my cat and you oh this pains me Persian come here I got rid of my draw to do that too. If this Pokemon's on your bench, which you're going to be able to get him back to your bench. The shrine has to go out here. That's something that has to happen. We have to rope. And I don't think there's anything else I can do. I'm just gonna have to rope. Getting rid of my consistency card hurt. Really hurt. My stadium goes here. And you're probably gonna be able to prevent bench damage, but then I'm just looking at a bench snipe. I'm hoping you play a baby down. If you play a baby down, that'd be huge for me. Ekinesis, let's whack this guy out. We've got to one prize card. Which, I, you know, I'm relatively impressed that we've managed to get that far against a deck that has a lot of counters against me at the moment. Glad you don't have Dugong. That would have been devastating. One prize card away. That is definitely being used here. There's no doubt about that. And if you avoid playing GX Pokemon, you make it very difficult for me from here on in. I'm 
Because Zappy can't get close enough to you. You're one stadium away from venting bench damage. <laughs> play a baby down. Play a baby down. Play a baby down. It's huge for me right now. Ah, uh, you're going to put him back into deck. So what I'm hoping for is a baby down. Okay, there is a baby on the field. If I can target it, it's huge. Second baby on the field. Alright, so we're in business. We also do need the Mew I'm not worried about. We also do need a Lightning Energy just in case you're able to get into my Zappy. Hoping you can't get to the Zappy. If you can't get to the Zappy, then we're good. We're golden. Alright, but looks of it you can't get to the Zappy. Which means we've got the Guzma for win. This is starting to look good. This is starting to look good. It's just able to pick off those babies. Yep, we've got it. We've got it. We're fine. Alright. Thank you for playing the little babies down. Guzma this guy. And take him out. <laughs> That was a hard matchup. That was a hard matchup with the bench prevention, like bench damage prevention, that's not what we want to see. But at least like this deck's proving to be flexible that we can still target down those Mews if we see them or, you know, poke them on the back line, which just makes it, you know, hard for them to prevent that bench damage as well. I like it. Hello, stale bagel. I don't know if I'd want to eat a stale bagel. Um, <laughs> anyway, welcome. Jirachi, that doesn't sound very good, stale bagels. Zappy, pretty happy there. Pretty happy with this hand, very happy with this hand actually. Very happy with this hand. Reshazard, go on second. Should hopefully be able to pull together a turn one attack, which will be huge, absolutely huge. Stealthy Hood to try and get around any of my abilities. Pity that I'm not going to be really doing much with that. Oh, Kiawe. Interestingly pulling Kiawe given like with the greens. Very interesting. Zappy down. Uh, well Ness pull, I think, at the moment. Yeah, that's fun. That's fun. Go on Meowth. Good with that. I'm good with that. We do just need a way out of the active here, so a board will do quite nicely. That's good. And we'll now still wish. And we'll go and get ourselves. Do we want E-Power really? I'm um, feeling like we need a way to send this guy to the bench, possibly. Plus, we need a cat. Ah, a Persian and... Mm, okay. We got time, we got time. We'll escape rope. Pull in the escape rope. Yeah, I'm feeling that, I'm feeling that. Alright, so we'll play. So we'll play. And at the moment, we'll just do the old retreat -roo to the zappy. And I actually do need 10 more damage on you. I need the EP, not the escape rope. Oh, it is what it is. Done the rest of the side. We're fine getting 80 chip damage onto there. That's fine. I mean, we've got a lot of pieces to try and pull in the cat on the next turn anyway, so... We might just have to... Accept hitting into whatever you chuck on the bench there. Which is an Eevee Snorlax, that sounds fine. <laughs> that sounds fine to me. Um, if we can get ourselves a shrine, it's potentially getting both of them set up, so, which would sound pretty good to me. Well, it sounds very good to me, so, got another Meowth, I'm feeling like we do play the Meowth here, just so we got a couple of options there. Go a Lightning Energy down, do another Zappy out as well, just in case. Hmm, that's interesting, cool. Very interesting call. I'm feeling like no is the answer to that. Chuck a board down just because I don't want to draw into it. And uh, we'll now Cynthia first. Do get ourselves a Persian and Nest Ball and an Escape Rope. In fact, this is just lined up beautifully. We don't do any do uh, words, English. We don't want to do anything more than EP. Oh, we didn't get the shrine. Urgh. That makes me angry. Anyway, EP. That's fine. Should have brought that EP in last time. We'll just 
Uh, retreat -a or escape rope now? Escape rope now. Escape rope now. That's the whole plan. Otherwise the plan fails. <laughs> and that's not good if the plan fails. Um, so we do want to EP. I'm feeling like... I'm feeling like we do bring the Esper down here. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm just worried about let loose, honestly. That's what I'm really worried about. So, with Thunderous Assault, smack into this EV Snorlax. We've got the 110 damage on him. Gonna feel blow me. Ouch. That sucks. That makes my Jirachi shenanigans a lot more difficult. Greens. How much healing do you have in this deck? Switcheroo. Getting other greens. I mean, technically, I have the Esper on this turn. I think what we do is we Jirachi in worst case scenario we can take Eliza. And we take out the Eevee Snorlax and we play from there. Yeah, I'm feeling that. I want... Like, even a Shrine would make me happy here. Still a wish. Uh, well, I mean, we've got the Escape Rope, so we're really happy with that. Alright, we're pulling Guzma. We are pulling Guzma. That's what we want here. And we're going to escape rope the first time. The thing about it is I can escape rope and Tate and Liza here, which I think is better. That's what we're going to do. Who do you want up? I can't get the KO if you bring the Eevee Snorlax. That's the thing. But it gets damn close. But we're going to do it this way. Shuffle. Still don't find my way into any shrines. That makes me sad. Makes me real sad. Nest ball. Go and get zappy. Chuck an energy to you. Or ear kinesis, and we'll just start smacking into you. Probably played that wrong, really. Probably need to goose me you up, and ah, well, doesn't matter. He has to find a way out of this uh, active again. It's got plenty of greens. It's been pulling all of them. But that means Ace of Roller's not coming on this turn. We'll probably have another switch, get rid of the Asper. He's going to get the Guzma as well. Alright. I don't have any switching shenanigans, but... I can smack out the Reshiram Charizard here. And pull in Esper later. And that's what we're doing. So we'll go Persian up. We'll get the Reshizard out of here. Yep, that's all we want to do. We're not going to do anything more, just retreat out. And Thunderous Assault, smack out this Reshazard. We can't get you to the bench, that's a huge issue with the current plans. But we're hoping that we get something that can. Besides, we can go to the Jirachi if you KO me at worst here anyway. Oh, he got another greens. You've had like every greens you could want. I don't know what my next play is here because I've got no way out of the active. Zero ways out of the active here. Although we could attach another NG retreat out to Jirachi and then I'm a Guzma away. Guzma or Rope away from getting this. 
And that's potentially the way that we play it. You really love that stealthy hood, don't you? <laughs> I think that's the way that we play it if we can't get into anything. It's going to cheer up. Start getting that Reshazard ready. Don't know why you're getting that Reshazard ready unless you got Ace of Roller or something. So, we're going to retreat out to the Jirachi. Going to Stellar Wish. We do get rope. There it is. So we want. And then go and get ourselves our Esper back. And once again, do a torturous play of which guy do you want to sit at the front while we KO Eevee Snorlax from behind? <laughs> and Eekinesis for the win! <laughs> I didn't play that optimally, but we got there, we got there. And it is time to rate this deck, and starting with damage here, the damage isn't huge, really. We've got Thunderous Assault, which can hit for 80 base, and we can use some E-Powers to power that up. The Esper's nice if they've got big tag teams and things like that, because they can smack out those really quickly, but reliably, we've got an 80 base damage build. So the damage, whilst we're not really smacking in big numbers, we can just smack in super quickly and super efficiently with the damage, which is what this is about. It's about just putting pressure on your opponent right through the match by being a super quick, speedy, efficient deck. And that's what we like about the Zapdos. So yeah, the damage, we're not bringing big numbers up. We are a two shot deck pretty much right throughout unless we can you know pick off babies and things like that with the Zapdos. So for that reason, we're giving it a seven out of 10. As for the defense, we don't have big HP, which is, you know, being the thing about these Cataday decks, but we are a one prize card trade, and for that reason, that reason only, we'll give the defense a 7 out of 10. As for reliability, well, the consistency of this deck is absolutely huge. The Jirachi Stellar Wish just be works beautifully with the boards and the Zapdos, and plenty of escape ropes and Guzmas to keep that happening right through the game, and then being able to pick off with the Espers, and having that extra free retreater in the deck is nice as well. We've got great synergy here. The reliability of this deck is definitely the strength of this deck. It's super speedy, super fast, super quick, and we're giving the reliability a 10 out of 10. Definitely the strength of this deck. So overall, what do I think? Well, I really like this combination. This could actually be the best Cataday deck that I've tried so far. I mean, the Weezing's good, the Dugong's good. I love those two builds as well, and it'd be really good to see how it would match up against those kind of Cadays. but the Zapdos is super speedy, super quick, and can just put a lot of pressure right through your, like, you know, on your opponent right through the match, and we really do love it. So overall, I'm giving it an eight and a half out of 10.